An AC-72 can sail faster than the speed limit on Golden Gate Bridge. That's 45 miles an hour. These boats are clocking 50. The huge wing provides all the horsepower, but the turbo boost comes from hydrofoils, or foils. The foils behave exactly the same as an aeroplane wing does. Just as an aeroplane, when it gets enough velocity, it lifts off the ground. The foils, when they get enough velocity, lift the weight of the boat out of the water. The reason we do that is because all of the hull dragging in the water actually is, is a large percentage of the total drag of the boat. When you lift it out of the water, the boat goes 10 or 15 percent faster immediately. It is similar to taking off in a plane. You, you are limited when you're on the runway and you're sort of off down that track and then you, you're up on the foils. Suddenly the boat is a lot easier to sail when you're foiling. You don't have the resistance from all that water on the hull. The actual foils themselves are relatively small. They've got to lift seven tons, which is the total weight of the boat and crew. But because the boats go so fast, they can be quite compact and still carry that huge amount of weight. That weight and the pressure on the foils is astonishing. The foils must be able to withstand a minimum eight tons of pressure to pick up and fly seven and a half tons of boat. During a turn, that pressure rises to 15 tons, the equivalent of seven family sedans. All this on a piece of carbon fiber about the size of a surfboard. The AC-72s were not meant to foil, but a tweak in the design rule opened the door for the Kiwis to turbocharge their boat. It's definitely been an evolution that we've been pioneering in this campaign, and I'm, I'm sure the other teams were thinking of heading that direction at some point as well, but I think we proved that it could be done. The other teams soon followed suit. One of the great things this America's Cup has led to is the designers having to deal with a whole new dimension of sailboat sailing. Previously, it was all about the boat going sideways and forwards, but now we've got to deal with the boat going up and down, and that's a tough problem. The AC-72 design rule prevents active control on the rudder wings during racing. Their angle and rake must be fixed five minutes before the start. So the only way the sailors can control whether the boat is flying horizontally is by pivoting the dagger board casing. This swings the board forward and aft, which pitches the bow down or up. Getting that right is one of the key challenges of this cup. So the whole point of trying to achieve is stable flight. So you want to have the boat foiling, you know, about a metre out of the water and it just sits in this little sweet spot and rips along at 40 knots. And if you can achieve that, you'll be looking pretty good in the racing. And the top speeds for these AC-72s? I don't know where the limit will be with these boats. The sky's the limit and uh, it's just a really exciting part of sailing.